Fran, congratulations. You have finally found your agent and I know it took some work. I'm sure it did. Now it's time to talk to your agent about what you want and your non-negotiables before even seeing a property. This is gonna be very important so that you're not gonna be seeing things that you're not interested in. Get comfortable because we're about to get candid. Acquire my friend, Nadine Day, Candid Jewel. Join me on my journey as I embrace the culture of Ghana while exploring the globe, candidly. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll always know when I upload. If you haven't found your agent, please make sure that you go ahead and hit this link right now and go back to my um, apartment search series on how to find an agent. It's very important before we move to this next step. Now that you found an agent, it's time to have a candid and direct conversation with your agent, letting them know exactly what you want in an apartment or in a house or any type of property. This even goes for business properties too. Make sure you're establishing a budget. A budget is gonna be very important to the agent to know. They wanna know exactly um, how much you're willing to spend and what is your you know, top top. Like you're not going over that amount, okay? This is gonna be very imperative for yourself because a lot of places here in Ghana, they take at least a year or two years up front. So before you even move in, you have to go ahead and pay that year rent. There is a possibility as well that you could pay month to month and your rent would be a little bit more expensive. I wouldn't suggest that just because it would be cheaper and you'd be saving more money if you go ahead and pay that year in advance. Know that your money does go a long way. The conversion from cities to dollars, our dollar, does hold a lot more value than a city does. Like myself, I moved from DC and I was paying over a thousand dollars a month. You're gonna get the creme de la creme if you're spending a thousand dollars. I wasn't coming to Ghana wanting to spend more a thousand dollars in rent. I mean, it was ridiculous I was having to pay that in DC anyway. But just know that your money does go a long way here in Ghana. Whatever income that you're, you know, can afford, I will cut that in half. Cut that in half, okay? You're not moving to Ghana to spend more, okay? You're coming here to live a better life. Right, okay. Knew that 2,000 Ghana cities was enough for me to be able to um, pay it up front and still have some extra money, you know, to live as well. Number two, determine your location. Do you have transportation? What I did was I wanted to make sure that I was in a location that was within a 30 minute vicinity to Accra Mall. Because I don't have transportation, I wanted to make sure that Uber and Bolt um, were going to be reliable sources of transportation for me to get to you know, the mall or anything in that vicinity. For me personally, I wanted to live in East Lagoon. Um, during my travels, I was able to spend a lot of time in East Lagoon. It's more of a residential area. Um, a lot of politicians live in that area. A lot of um, people from the diaspora live there as well. What type of property do you want? Do you want an apartment? Do you want a house? Do you want it to be a self-compound? Do you want a story building? A self-compound is a contained property, a contained house or apartment, whether there is a gate. Like you have to, you know, either use a key to open it or there is a caretaker or security to guard that has to let you in. So nobody off the street can just walk in there. You, it's more secure. So I knew that I wanted that being by myself and being a female, I wanted to make sure that it was in a compound. It's not out in the open. People can't just walk up to your door. People can't see what you're doing when you're in a compound. Let your agent know exactly what other features you want included. If you want to make sure that your water is included or your electric is included, let that be known. A caretaker or a security guard that's also living on the property as well, take that into consideration that you want to let your agent know that. A parking space. If you do have a car or you plan on having a car, make sure you let them know that you want somewhere that you can park your car safely and it won't be a problem. I have a caretaker and that's something that I did want. Now, being here for six months, I wish I didn't have a caretaker, but that's another story. Another thing I wanted to let my agent know was I didn't want more than two other families or two other people to be living on the same self-compound as me. Other places where it's um, a self-compound, but they have different houses, you know, on the same compound. Some houses have also a boys' quarters where other people live on, but it's still a self-compound because you have that, you know, security gate. I want to be in a story build building where there was like 10 or 20 people living in that building because that's just too many people. Too many people in my business, too many people seeing, you know, who I got coming in and out, you know. I didn't want to be by myself just because of security reasons. But yeah, so I definitely, you know, if you don't want to be around too many people, make sure you let your agent know how many people that you're willing to share the compound with 
or if you do want to be by yourself let that be known as well because there are a lot of self compounds that are shared a lot of them don't have you know security bars or security wires or any kind of like of electrical fence so make sure unless you a G make sure you <laughs> make that known to your agent that you want extra security My friend actually she just had somebody break into her apartment or her house she's in a, um, a house self compound share compound and the robbers jumped over the fence but if there was like barbed wire around there you know it would definitely hurt them and it would be a deterrent for anybody to try to break into your place so that's just a fyi okay now that you have determined your budget about how much you want to spend remember to consider that you will have to pay one or two years in advance there are some places that you don't have to pay years in advance nine times out of ten your rent is going to be a lot higher so you will be saving more money you know it's beneficial to me to pay it in advance now that you have determined your location again i would recommend picking a vicinity point or a um a main location a venue or something like that that you're able to say okay i'm familiar with that area either you want to be in that area or you want to be in a certain radius to that area you've decided the type of property that you wanted either an apartment that self-contains or a house that has neighbors or a gated community now that you have found all those things in addition to any extras again any extras would be you know what utilities are included into the place a caretaker being on the property how many people are on the property with you those kind of things if i forgot anything else let me know in the comments because i probably did forget something and i'm regretting it now in the apartment that i'm in i'm sure now that you have done all these things, you are able to communicate effectively with your agent. Tell them what your non-negotiables are. You're gonna set the intentions and your expectations on what that you want them to show you. If you have a good agent, if you made the right selection in agents, just know now that you shouldn't have your time wasted. They should be taking you to only places that are in your budget, in your location, the type of properties, and your other extras as well. Three, I'm gonna tell you what questions you must ask when you're seeing a property, what you need to turn on, and what you need to look for. You'll see some properties that I've used that I decided not to go with, I'll tell you why, and you will get a tour of my apartment. If you have any non-negotiables that I did not mention, please let me know, because I'm definitely interested, and if you have any feedback, I'd like to know it as well. Remember to create your own path and say it loud, candid and proud.